Damien Chazelle, you done it again, man. You're three for three now. What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. Last night I finally saw First Man, directed by Damien Chazelle, this is his third directed film, Whiplash and La La Land were his previous two, and the movie stars Ryan Gosling as Neil Armstrong, Claire Foy as his wife, and you also had Kyle Chandler, Corey Stahl, and Jason Clark. In this movie, it tells the true story of Neil Armstrong, played by Ryan Gosling, who was the first ever astronaut, one of the first few to ever land on the moon. And the movie does dive deep into Neil Armstrong's life, as well as the mission of Apollo 11, and all of the dangerous risks and events that have happened with these NASA astronauts as they try to land on the moon. I think it's an understatement to say I was excited for First Man because I absolutely love Damien Chazelle. Whiplash is seriously my in my top five favorite movies of all time. That movie is a perfect masterpiece and it's Chazelle's best film. I really love La La Land as well. It is a really great musical and Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone were terrific. So now this is very different for Damien Chazelle, he's not directing a music film, this is a space exploration true story. I love all the trailers, the marketing is fantastic, and the cast they have on board is terrific. And as well as the screenplay, Josh Singer who wrote the screenplay to Spotlight. I mean, how could this movie be bad, right? It's not. First Man blew my mind. It is a fantastic film. This movie just blew me away. I loved it from start to finish. It was mesmerizing, intense, great performances, dramatic and suspenseful from start to finish, and terrifically well directed. Ryan Gosling's fantastic as Neil Armstrong. Of course he gives his Ryan Gosling normal performances of being very stoic, very rational, but that's the best part about Ryan Gosling. Like, he doesn't go over the top like many other actors today. He just gives that typical Ryan Gosling performance. And that's what I love about him as Neil Armstrong. People may complain that Neil Armstrong really doesn't evoke much emotion in the film. He's very stoic. Like, you don't get to know the emotionality side to him. You do. Because there's a lot of plot points in this film that... I fell for the guy. Like, I'm not going to spoil anything, unless if you know the true story of what happened. Because I want you guys to go into this film knowing nothing, and that's how I did. But honestly, I thought Claire Foy stole the whole show acting-wise. She's terrific as Neil Armstrong's wife. She has many great scenes in the film. She's the most honest person in the entire film. There's a great scene with her, and she's that hard-hitting emotion family member. Like, she's trying to get Neil to understand that he may never come back. And there's a great scene involving Neil having to face his kids saying he may never come back. Honestly, it wasn't the performances that were the superstar. Damien Chazelle is the superstar with this film. He is the number one reason why this film was terrific. Damien Chazelle's direction from start to finish is riveting, fantastic. You, It feels like his stamp was on this film. There's a lot of slow sequences, a lot of silent scenes with some jazz music playing in the background. Because if you haven't seen La La Land, like that movie's all about jazz. And the slow, subtle beats... You could just feel Chazelle's sort of layer, even though the space exploration scenes feel like a Christopher Nolan or Ron Howard type of feel with Apollo 13 and Interstellar. Chazelle's stamp was on this film from start to finish. Out of all the directors this year, I think Damien Chazelle deserves to win Best Director again, and I mean that in all honesty. Bradley Cooper's direction for A Star is Born is terrific. I mean, I haven't seen Alfonso Cuaron's new film yet, but this man, Chazelle, I think should win it again. This is an IMAX film. You need to see this in IMAX if you live near one. Because all the sound effects were mind-blowing. Like, all the space scenes in the film, the opening scene to the movie is intense. The final act with them finally getting to the moon, it's suspenseful. I was on the edge of my seat. Justin Hurwitz's score as well is terrific. I love movies with great scores and great sound effects that put me on the edge of my seat. 
Because that's why I absolutely loved Blade Runner 2049 last year. Because that film did everything flawlessly. The sound effects and the music. And with First Man, and maybe my Blade Runner 2049 this year, I seriously am thinking about it. The cinematography, great. Fantastic cinematography. Once you finally get to do see the space scenes with them finally landing on the moon, I felt like I was on the moon. Like, I don't know how they do this. Like, I don't know the filmmaking, but they made this movie look so realistic. It is jaw-dropping, man. The cinematography is terrific. I could see the runtime being a flaw for a lot of people. It's a two hour and 20 minute film. It's really long. It's really slow paced, but it needed to be slow paced because it told the story it wanted to tell. Neil Armstrong has a big backstory and the Apollo 11 mission was a long process, an eight year process. And trying to get to the moon, we're trying to build up the suspense, build up the story, build up the characters into the final act, it can be a great conclusion. Honestly, the pacing didn't bother me. I would say sometimes the runtime did feel like a long movie. I love long movies that feel like they go by like that. But this movie did have a little bit of, okay, it is a little long, but it didn't really bother me fully. It's just a nitpick. First Man blew me away, and I think it will blow you guys away. Hopefully you guys love this film because it is terrific. All my reasoning should get you guys to go see this film because it is an Oscar contender, and it's one you cannot miss. Especially go see it in IMAX. So on my rating scale, I'm going to give First Man a 5 out of 5 stars. And for those people out there, if you're not going to go see the movie because of the controversy, the American flag bullshit, really? Come on, man. Alright guys, that was my review for First Man. Have you guys seen it? What were your thoughts on it? Did you love it? Think it was okay? Or did you absolutely hate it? If you hated it, really? But let me know down below in the comments all your thoughts. Thank you guys as always for watching this review. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. Click that notification bell on your way out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!